Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Flexi here, back with another tutorial, another Photoshop Touch video. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make an easy thumbnail on Android, just like how I have on the screen right now. So, this is a really nice thumbnail I made, you know, it's a really nice thumbnail. So, without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial and first things first, let's go right to Photoshop Touch, guys. Alright guys, once you guys are in Photoshop Touch, you guys have to go to 1280 times 720 for the blank document. That is the size of the thumbnail. And what you're going to want to do next is go to the plus sign, go to photo layer, go to your photo library. And what you're going to choose is your wallpaper or a background, any random one. So I'm just going to choose this random background slash wallpaper. So it doesn't fit, but I'm just going to adjust it really quick. So if it, yours doesn't fit like mine's did, um, adjust it if you guys want to. And once you uh, choose your white paper or background, you could go to adjustments, go to levels, and go to the second one and bring it a little down, not too dark, but that's good right there. All right, guys. So the next thing I'm gonna add is a cool effect. So it's gonna be in the link in the description, and I hope this time this link will actually work. So I'm gonna add a background effect, so you guys could use it as well. So I'm gonna use this one really quick. And once you have the background effect from the link in the description, I'm gonna have my color theme as green. So I'm gonna go to the color adjustments, go to the color balance. And for red, I'm going to do zero, I mean negative 100. For green, I'm going to do all the way to 100. And for the blue, I'm going to do negative 100. So as you guys can see, it actually changed it to green. So I'm going to put check right there. Sorry for the little burp right there. But anyway, after that, you're going to want to go to the uh, capacity on blend mode. You're going to want to go to linear dodge add. And I'm going to put it on 50% for the capacity so it won't be too bright. And once you are done with this, you're going to want to add your own text. So I get my text from Pixel Lab because Fonto, I don't know, I think that the quality on the text is not that good. So I'm going to add your text in this. All right. So if you have like more than one text, you're going to want to add a empty layer. But I do have one right here. So let me put it all the way up. All right. So you could drag one of them out. So uh, use this little tool, the square tool, the rectangle tool, whatever you want to call it. Uh, hover it over the text you want to add to the other layer so you can move it by itself. And go to the little pencil box tool. Go to copy and once you are done with that, cut it. And you guys are going to see it's not there. So click off, go to the empty layer, go to the pencil box tool and push paste. So as you guys can see, the pencil box, uh, I mean your text is going to be back but on a different um, layer. So what you're going to want to do is adjust your text and like put it like towards the center of your thumbnail. So the text part is going to be like right there and the your is going to be right on top of it. So let me adjust that really quick. So I think right there is good. And once you are done with that, you could add gradients to your text. So I am going to add the gradient to the text part. So go to the pencil box tool, go to select pixels, go to gradient and I'm gonna do my own gradient, so if you guys wanna do your gradient, go for it. Uh, it's up to you guys. So the gradient I have is just green, plain green, I guess. You guys could check on the, uh, whatchamacallit. All right, I don't know, not know how to. All right, so never mind, forget about that, guys. So, oh, yeah, there you go. For the HSB, it's gonna be 66. For the brightness, for the hue is 110, and the other capacity is 100. The saturation is 100, so the light part, it's 106 for the hue, the saturation is 84. Brightness and the capacity is 100, so once you click your gradient on your text, keep it on where the little pixels are selected, or you can just select pixels. Go to the end tool, go to fill and stroke, you're going to stroke your text, so go to stroke and change the color to the light one, or the, top, the color on top, depending if you're doing a different color, so I'm doing green, if you're doing red, you could do light red. So I'm going to click on the light green, go to the width. I'm going to pick on 10 really quick. All right, there you go. So you guys can see it kind of looks kind of done, dumb. So I'm going to go to the pencil toolbox, go to inverse. And after you're done with that, put clear and bam, it goes inside, guys. That looks really nice right there. So you could just merge down your text. So usually the top text, I would usually leave it white because whatever. That's what I usually do, just leave it white, and then the bottom I do the color as the background. 
So after you're done with that, you can go to FX, go to Drop Shadow, go once, twice, maybe three times. All right, I'll give it three times. And another effect you could add to your text is uh, uh, like something really cool. So I'm gonna show you guys. So you could go to Empty Layer, go to the the brush, go to the paint, the, the spray tool. I mean, and I already have it to the green. So I am gonna like basically like kind of push like some little uh effects to it so just like kind of touch it in a way and like that but that's if you guys want to um it looks cool with it or without it so i recommend it sometimes with it um but it's better with like a bigger size so like that's pretty pretty good i guess and once you are done with that you guys could add your own border by just adding an empty layer Selecting the pixels on the selector pixels from the background or wallpaper you guys have. So go to select pixels, go to your uh, empty layer, go to the and and tool box or whatever, fill in stroke, and you can you have to click the color white. I mean, go to the width, go to 35. So make sure it's 35. It's like a pretty decent size. Go to FX. Go to drop shadow. You're gonna add like two times of a drop shadow. So twice. There you go. And once you are done with that, you can click off. Oh, I have the spray, the spray paint tool, so you can click off. Oh, all right. So once you click off, you're gonna want to go to the opacity, go to blend mode, and go to overlay. And voila, guys, it is the border you guys have been asking me for. So I am gonna delete the little spray tools. I did not do it right, but anyway, you guys could still keep it. You could even add another drop shadow to your text if you want. Um, but yeah guys, that's gonna be it for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial Leave a like if you guys enjoy it. Let's try to break out a like amount of 50 likes for the next tutorial or video So yeah guys, that's been it for today's tutorial guys. Hope you guys enjoyed leave a like if you guys enjoyed I know I just said it But if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications if you guys want more tutorials guys So yeah guys, it's been your boy if you flexi guys. Oh, I was about to say my old name But it's been your boy flexi guys, and I'm out guys. Peace